If you're gonna kiss me, don't just merely kiss me, baby. Kiss me lovely and long. Yes! Lena Horn! Lena Horn! Oh, Lena Horn, get me ready for the show tonight. You guys, welcome back. It is vlog eight, the final week. We had the Tonys last weekend, and they were incredible. Like, I still can't even believe it happened. I still can't believe I was there. I can't believe I sat in the audience. I can't believe I performed. I can't believe I was sitting next to Cheetah Rivera, behind Joel Gray, in front of Victoria Clark, on the same aisle as Kelly O'Hara, and Brandon Urano, it's Robbie Fairchild. It was insane. And I know we didn't win Best Musical, and I didn't win my category, but I'm like the happiest loser in New York. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was on this high. It was like a drug for 48 hours. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't believe I was part of it. It was surreal. Performing was so amazing. I've only performed in the Tonys once, and that was in 2000 for my first show, and I was in the ensemble, and it was cool, and it was amazing, but this was epic for me. Anyway, so this is our last week, our last week of Swanderful. It's the last vlog. It's the last one! I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take you around. It's Robbie's birthday this week. We'll see. Um, we, well, I'll take some questions. So I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna answer a bunch and go around to the cast. Try to squeeze in a little bit more of an actual Q&A this week. You know what? That's it. Uh, you'll see where, where we go. I don't even know what I'm gonna cover this week. But it's our last week together! So I'll see you at the end. Enjoy this last vlog of Swandafo! So you guys, yesterday was Robbie's birthday, and today is Judy Garland's birthday. <laughs> she would have been 93, and we're here at the palace, so I surprised everyone I bought a couple of cakes, and we're gonna go sing happy birthday to Judy Garland, because we owe her. Happy birthday, dear Judy. Supporting characters meeting commence! Brandon Uradowitz, from Sarah. <gasps> <laughs> Jill Pace, the cow as white as milk. Oh, oh milky wow. white. Wow. Max von Essen, Zanita Shin. Egad? Yeah. <laughs> music man. Oh, I. Everybody always makes a music man reference, and I like don't know. You got it. Man. Tyler would not be happy. Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm gonna take a couple of vlog questions, ready? Okay, I'm gonna do them fast. Here's one from Millie Who 123 Maxi's Pad, which is your favorite to perform in American in Paris and why? Oh, which song is your favorite? It's my song, Stay Away to Paradise. And why? Probably, I don't know, it's like this, it's Henri's like dream come true moment, it's totally his fantasy played out. And also is one of the only moments of the show, maybe the only moment where something is totally presentational and I'm actually performing for an audience, like I'm a performer performing for an audience as opposed to an actor within scenes. And I love that, kind of just like breaks down the wall and I can see people, I look directly at people, so that's probably why I love it so much. Angela Katsaros asked me, if you could be any female role in any show, what would it be? How about this show first? I would want to be... Lise Dassin, played by Leanne Cope, because I do not dance the way she dances or Robbie dances. And so if I was playing that role, that meant I was hired because I could dance it like that. And I just can't imagine what it feels like to dance like that. So that would be cool. What female role would I want to be in any show? Mama Rose in Gypsy, because I do, I already do a mean Rose's turn. So I would be pretty amazing to play that role. BX. O O K E M O R R I S on Twitter says, What was your reaction when you got this role? Well, actually, I had auditioned um, for quite a while, 
and I was just praying I got it. And then I was in LA. I, first, I didn't think I got it, and I went to LA and I was auditioning. And I remember my agents called me, and I was in the car. I think I was in my car, and I actually just started crying because I haven't wanted a role this badly in a really, really long time. So my reaction was tears. Joe Westerman asked me, what was the most memorable moment this award season? Um, I actually think I'd probably just say the day that the Tony nominations came out. I, t I, I checked in on my vlog that day too because I just couldn't believe it, you know? I've dreamed my whole life of like moments like this and I didn't know if they were going to happen and that moment where I saw that my name was one of the nominees that was like surreal. The whole award season was a dream, I want to do it again many times, but that moment where I got that first nomination, that's like that will never happen again and it was awesome and I'll never forget it. One more. How long did it take you to get the French accent? Well, I start, um, that was from Sir Lance, a lot 27. I actually did a show a couple years ago. I had to have a French accent, but we only did it for a few weeks. So it didn't really like stick in me, but so that was a start. And then I started working with a dialect coach here for, for this production. And then I would listen to recordings of French singers and recordings of the guy I'm playing, the guy who played my role in the film, Georges Couturier. I would listen to this actor, Louis Jordan, who's been in a lot of films. He's a French actor and did a lot of Hollywood films. And I would listen to interviews of him just speaking normally, so just a French person speaking English casually. And that's basically it. So I listened to singers and performers and a couple of actors. All right, see you guys later. We're doing a Q&A because I have everyone captive on this van. <laughs> Snack Boy asks, hey, to Brandon, Max, and Jill, how did the supporting characters meeting like start? I started it, um, I think, when we were in tech and hours and hours were being spent on these two. <laughs> Blame it on us. We were sitting downstairs and a little bit bored. And so I thought we needed like an Alcoholics Anonymous like support group. <laughs> For well, those of us now who people maybe love it. sit downstairs a lot. Pass the jujubes wants to know, Leanne. <laughs> what is your tea of choice? English breakfast. Oh, course. English breakfast. <laughs> Lydia42 Dance wants to know, what are some of our like favorite shows that inspired us like to do theater? Like what was like anyone who's like one of your favorite shows growing up or Hair. movie musical or something? <laughs> <laughs> I always knew it. Hair. Hair. Are you serious? Oh, I saw yeah. like seven times. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> Yes. I mean, like, Peter Pan started it all. But, uh, yes. No, 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 no. Not Mar well, Kathy Robbins. Rigby in the, sh in the, like, the actual show, but then the Mary Martin, like... Remember when NBC did the, the like, live recording of it? Do you remember that? No, I remember when they With were Mary in the Martin. 20s, though, and she flew out into the audience. Oh, well, those yes, I mean, that those was... Amazing. I mean, when Kathy Rigby flew out into the audience, I was like... Put me on Broadway, let me fly in every show. <laughs> the next question is a dream role you wish to play in the future. Would that be one? Peter Pan? Absolutely not. <laughs> Tevia. <gasps> Danny Burstein's uh, standby, Jill Pace, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to see all of you in Singing in the Rain. Literally, like all four oh, of you. That would be fun. fun. Not me. I want to play George in Sunday in the Park with George. Oh, that'd be Jill, someone wants to know, hey, this is for Jill Pace. Do you have any fast changes or tips for an aspiring actor. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Hassett underscore River. Uh, I have several quick changes actually during the end of Act One, the Rhapsody Ballet, and every time the music starts my stomach kind of drops because I know they're all coming very quickly. What's your favorite yeah. Streisand song? <laughs> They're all so good. Like, I know. How do you, how do you choose one? Jingle it's like so jingle bell, jingle. Oh! I wanted to ride on horse up and say, hey, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. No, I, I love, I love Barbara's putting it together. Ooh. I never heard her putting it together. I also love, <laughs> gotta move! <laughs> <laughs> love that one. Oh. Love that. Gotta find some place. <laughs> Sir Lancelot 27. This one's easy. We'll go around. Dogs or cats? Neither. Oh! Dogs! Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> Dogs. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Chocolate. Vanilla. <gasps> Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> Drink of choice at Starbucks. Iced vanilla latte. Ooh. Coffee. Yes. Soya chai tea latte. Other than coffee, oh. chai. Mm. Skim chai. Good choice. Skim chai. I'm just Skim chai. Good old coffee. 
Well, you guys, thank you for this Q and A. Yay. We're off to Barnes and Noble to uh, what are we doing? Sing. We're singing. We're performing and at Barnes and Noble CDs. and signing CDs for <laughs> tens and tens of fans. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see you there. Bye, guys. Thanks. Life is short. We're growing older. Let's not be. This is our, fine, our last fight call on the vlog. This is a little game we play. It's gonna win. Whoa! Damn it! Oh, but that was real good. That was, that was real good. good. That was real good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Warm it up. Oh, that's what we're going for, but. Oh, goes off. Oh, but crooked. It was good. That was crooked. Supporting characters meeting commands. Brandon Uranowitz, Carlotta. Ooh. <gasps> Jill Pace, Colonel Pickering. Yes. Oh. Max von Essen, Rizzo. <laughs> We're, we haven't done Rizzo? No. See you at the, at the last meeting. Not forever, but for you guys. Oh. <sighs> oh, you guys. It's dawned on me as we're heading towards the end of the vlog that I never showed you guys my dressing room. I mean, you've been in it, but you've never like, I've never like really shown you around. So, hey, come on in, we'll do it. We made it, and yes, there are a lot of stairs. I think you've seen this map before. Right? I had this map made, like wallpaper, um, from this site called Swag Paper Online, and we made this big vintage map of Paris, like wallpaper. My little couch, my coffee tables, my supply of M&Ms for every show, my little eyeglass case, some books. Uh, my costumes aren't here yet, but this is where most of my costumes live. Some gifts I got for opening night and the American in Paris recording, a book called This is Paris, and The Three Musketeers from Robbie. Some like fashion illustrations, which I thought are just, I keep them here to inspire me. My bar, essential. Don't be fooled, I don't drink that much, but a lot of people have sent me champagne. <laughs> this, an illustrator friend of ours, um, Rob Wilson, did for me, which I thought was pretty amazing. My boyfriend had that made for me. Kind of just created this whole little like wall of art and things that I thought, you know, Henri might have and be inspired by, as well as Max. Um, these are films, Judy Garland, original advertisements for films that Judy Garland was in and they would have already been out for years at the time of Henri's life and the time that the play takes place so I thought he could have been inspired and seen these films and also it's at, we're at the palace so I mean like Judy Garland had to have a little tribute for her there my Tony nomination certificate 
which is pretty darn cool. On my wall of just inspiration, things that people have given me for opening night, um, postcards I found in Paris and picked up at museums and found in vintage stores and things that inspire me and places I would imagine. This picture of my grandparents, which I think is cool and inspires me as well. Anyway, that's really it. Then, of course, you know my dressing table. I'll go kind of quick because it's a little messy. My humidifier. <laughs> and that's it. That's basically it. Just thought I'd show you guys around. I know I never really officially did it, so it's the last vlog, so I wanted to show you. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> nice to see you. Are you ready for a warm up? Yes, I'm going to go warm up the dancers. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Oh, Olga! Oh, nice oh, nice Hello! Oh, the big dancers! Oh, the American dancers! Oh, God, Thank you! Grandpa! Yeah! Oh! Little <laughs> quick! Sick! From the shop! Sick! Oh, quick! Sick! 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 American dancers cannot do this. He has no idea what's happening. Stupid, <laughs> ugly buffalo, hippopotamus. I'm finished, thank you. Well, we're on board. She takes her job. Wait, are you, you gonna to... bobby pin his hair I'm back? I'm just gonna pull it back. Well, so just quick, present. just a quick prep. Robbie, you just calm down. Just relax, Robbie. She knows what she's doing. I'm ready. <laughs> I could play Eliza Doolittle. Uh huh. You could be Irene Malloy. And <laughs> Hello, Dolly. Ribbons down your back. Ribbons down my back. <laughs> this summer. Who's my pretty girl? I am. Who's the prettiest girl there ever was? Me. It's you. It's me. It's you. Baby, got <laughs> some booty. Some serious What's this for, babe? Hey, no, I'm. He's King and I. I'm King and I. Oh. <laughs> Tartuffe. It's a very ancient saying, but a true and honest thought, that if you become a teacher, by your pupils you'll be taught. As a teacher I've been learning, you'll forgive me if I boast, and I've now become an expert on the subject I like most. Getting to know you. Getting to know you. Medium Allison. <laughs> Jill Pace, Amaryllis. Max von Essen, Mrs. Potts. Do we use that? I don't think so. Wardrobe. This is a terrible <laughs> meeting. This is a terrible meeting. Joanne. <laughs> Joanne! <laughs> yes! Some like it hot and bad ain't bad. Woo! You know I love some smash. I love me some Megan Hilty giving me life on our last vlog, you guys. It's hitting me that this is it. This is it. Kind of crazy. It's really been an incredible two months. I hope you had fun. I've had kind of an amazing time. I feel like, I don't know, you guys have come up to me at the stage door, tweeted me, wrote me on Facebook and all this stuff and commented on Instagram and come up to me at events and you've said you've been watching it and it really means a lot. I really appreciate it. Before I go, I just wanna say, I just wanna say something serious for a minute. I love this show and American in Paris. I love this role of Henri Borel so much. And it's truly been like this dream of a lifetime. I connect with him so much. He's, he's, he's this wonderful guy and he's so torn 
about what he should do in life, what he's expected to do, and what his passion is and what his heart says. He's confused about a lot of things in his dreams and he's confused about his sexuality and I connect to all that because I've been in a lot of, I've been in this place that Henri is in. And I just want to say, any of you guys are out there and I don't know if you're in a similar place, you're confused about things, you're confused about your dreams, you're confused about your sexuality, I just want to tell you that that's okay. No one can make decisions for you and take your time. If you're confused about things, if you're worried about things, breathe, take your time, you will figure it out. No one can rush you. No one can tell you who you are, who you should be. Only you can do that. And if you know you're worried about your mom and dad or that might not, they might not understand you or your friends, your relatives, your teachers might not understand you, might not love you. Well, I love you and I understand you and I want to meet you one day and I want to see you perform and I want to see you at the stage door and I just want you to have an amazing life even if it feels like right now it might not be amazing. So just stick it out, all right? And come say hey to me sometime. I want to see what you guys do in life. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. I want to listen to a little bit of my favorite song because I'm about to go back out on stage. This was, I dreamt I was back in Paris by Georges Guterri. He always gets me in the spirit before I go out there as Henri for an American in Paris. And I've had an unbelievable time doing this with all you guys. I'm gonna miss it. I dream I was back in Paris I hope my dreams come true Bye guys Thank you <laughs>